GMS. I'm Erin. And I'm Lily. Welcome to the GMS News Show of the Week of April 30th, 2023. Any current 6th or 7th grade student who wants to join Band or Choir next year, please have your parents contact Ms. Marshall. If you plan on participating on any athletics teams next year, then there will be Athletic Physical Night on Monday, May 8th at Clark Pleasant Middle School Fieldhouse from 6 to 8 p.m. It costs $22, and your physical is good for all sports next school year. Information on the 21st Century Scholarship Program can be found on the GMS homepage. Simply go to our homepage and scroll to the bottom and click the link under Resources. Students must apply during their 7th or 8th grade year to be eligible for this college money. Believe it or not, yearbooks are still available to be purchased at yearbookforever.com. Time is quickly running out to get your very own 2022 and 2023 GMS yearbook. There is no better way to remember this school year. Order your yearbook now. Now let's go into top trending in the GMS roll call. Have a great week, GMS. Hello, welcome to Top Trending, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Josh. And I'm Colton. Let's get started. Pearl the Chihuahua is the world's smallest dog, according to NPR Strange News. She is 3.59 inches tall and weighs 1.22 pounds. That she means she is as small as a credit card. According to NPR Strange News, she is also very diva. Her favorite foods are chicken and salmon. She also likes to dress up nice. NYC's waging war against West, the woman leading the charge is Kathleen. She also developed the Zero Waste Schools program, which was the nation's largest waste program. This newly appointed New York City rat Caesar. The job is to tackle the city's rat problem. She also led the agency's rodent reduction efforts to pretty promising success because of her unique experiences that qualifies her for her role. That's all for Top Trending. Have a great week, GMS. Welcome to GMS Roll Call. I'm Lucy, and today we're asking students what their favorite fast food restaurant is. Uh, McDonald's. Chick-fil-A. McDonald's. Chick-fil-A. Whataburger. <laughs> McDonald's. My favorite fast food restaurant gotta be Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. McDonald's. Oh, uh, my favorite fast food restaurant is probably Wendy's. I like those chicken nuggets and the barbecue sauce. Chick-fil-A. Mine's got to be Chick-fil-A. I like their chicken nuggets with Chick-fil-A sauce. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Hello, GMS. Welcome to this week of weather. This is the week of May 1st to May 5th. It's kind of crazy how we're already in May, but uh, on Monday, even though we're already in May, it certainly isn't May weather because it's only a high of 49, and there's high precipitation. Usually, precipitation makes it cooler, so it might not be that warm. The next day is also really cold for May. It's a cloudy Tuesday, 54 degrees. It's still really cold. This was like March weather. I don't know what happened. I mean, there's less precipitation, I guess. Wednesday, it's kind of a little bit of everything. We get the rain, the cloud, the sun. 57 degree high and uh, still really cold. Uh, on Thursday, 64 degree high. It's a bit warmer, but still not that warm. Uh, we're probably not gonna have any precipitation today, but like, it's still cold. I mean, you could wear like a sweatshirt or something like what I'm wearing, but like, it's May. You shouldn't, May is basically like, it's not summer, but it's like almost summer. So you should be like, it should be like 80. And then Friday, a cloudy day. It is warm, you can go outside. Still can't wear like those summer clothes though. I mean, literally in like 20 days, pools will be open. Why is it still like 40 degrees? That's all for weather this week. Inside the Indy 500 track at Vickyard Golf Course, and the Woodman lost against the Speedway, but it was a fun match.
Hi, welcome to GMS Sports. I'm Jack with this week's home events. On Monday, May 1st, 2023, track and field versus Clark Pleasant and Perry Meridian, starting at 5.30 p.m. Then, also on Monday, we have girls tennis versus Franklin Community starting at 5 p.m. On Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023, boys golf versus Center Grove Central starting at 4.30 p.m. Then on Wednesday, May 3rd, boys golf versus Paul Hadley starting at 4.30 p.m. Then on Thursday, May 4th, 2023, track and field versus Shelbyville starting at 5 o'clock p.m. Then no, no events on Friday, but on Saturday, there is the Boys Golf versus Johnson County and Johnson County Tournament starting at 9 o'clock a.m. That's all for sports. Have a great week.